Hello YouTube, this is Terrell from Terrell03.com. Today is Friday, July the 5th, 2013. This is the fourth video in the six video instructional series. This series prepares the members of Christ's body for understanding the truth of God's living word. This is the truth of God's hidden wisdom. It's right there in plain sight. In scripture, it begins right in Genesis 1.1 once you can see it. And decades of this research has shown me the path and my job is to show you the signposts along the way. Always check everything out. Check the verses and see for yourself and pray about it. Never accept anybody's interpretation. Not mine, not anybody's. Check it out for yourself. There's more than 3,000 denominations of professing Christians in one truth. What does that tell you? Well, I'm just like everybody else. I've got the truth and I'm showing it to you. But it's for you to see it. All I have is seeds. God must cause the growth. The growth, first Corinthians chapter three, start at verse six. So that's what we're doing. And my YouTube channel was deleted accidentally. And I'm having to remake these videos, so now we're looking at instructional video number four, the differences between God and my Father who art in heaven. Most everybody think thinks that my Father who art in heaven is God, right? But he's not. My Father who art in heaven is the spirit witness of the word. The three witnesses of God are shown right here in Revelation chapter one, verse eight. God who was, God who is, and God who is to come. Three witnesses of spirit, blood, and water exactly like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Same image, but different. The same way that you have a spirit, you have a soul, and you have a body. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is the spirit, soul, and body of the Word. These three witnesses of the Almighty are the spirit, soul, and the body because there must be three in, in uh, the infinite realm where we come from, where we are gods, then we are singularities. There is no spirit, no such thing. There's no such thing as body or soul. They're the same thing. They're like Adam in Genesis 2, 7, a living soul, spirit, soul, and body as one singularity. But in order for God to interact with humans as water witnesses and with the angels as spirit witnesses, the other half of men, then he must divide himself into these three witnesses of spirit, blood, and water. So let's begin. Most people do not know the differences between the one true God and my Father who art in heaven. This paper lays down the doctrinal precepts teaching the one God and the one mediator, Christ Jesus, between God and men, from 1 Timothy 2.5. God sent our Lord Jesus Christ into the world, and God raised our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. God is the one God and Father of Ephesians 4.6. And Christ Jesus is the Lord of Ephesians 4, 5. The Son of God, from John 1, 34. On earth, and the Son of God, in whom all things were created and are held together. So in the next video, we're going to get into the differences between Jesus Christ and Christ Jesus. And I'm sure that I'm... What was that word that I heard? Blasphemy? This sounds like heresy. But it's the truth. There is a difference, and understanding the difference can help you know yourself better and all of the spirit witnesses, blood witnesses, and water witnesses of Scripture. Because the Father testifies with glory, like the heavens, and like the Almighty. Spirit witnesses all have the glory, and that's being passed to the blood witnesses, for which the water witnesses serve, like your physical body serves your soul and spirit, like the Holy Spirit serves the Father and the Son. The earth serves heaven and the heavens. See, there's a pattern here. So slowly we're getting that to, to the point. And the point is that you see God's hidden wisdom and that that wisdom is inside yourself. It's indwelt inside of you, those of us who have obeyed the gospel. That's where Christ is. Instead of praying outwards, the God of the world is out there. God is inside of us, in Christ, in us. And that's what the point is. If you believe that my Father who art in heaven is, is the Almighty, then you have eliminated one from the equation, 
rather than seeing both, and that there is an intercessor. Christ is the intercessor, and he is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The man Christ Jesus is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's who Christ Jesus is. Jesus Christ is the incarnation of the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God is the incarnation of the Word that's in heaven right now. So Jesus Christ, that's why John the Baptist says that he's the Son of God, that he is the Lamb of God. He's the incarnation of the Word. Jesus Christ is the incarnation of the Lamb, who is the Word of God. Okay, so God's three witnesses are God to come, God who is, and God who was, testifying for the Almighty in Revelations 1.8. God who is is speaking in Genesis 1, saying, Let us make man in our image, which is a triune image, whereby man and woman were created having a spirit, a soul, and a physical body. So even the family is the image of God. The man is the spirit witness, the woman is the water witness, and the offspring, the seed, is the blood witness that enlarges between them. The family unit is three witnesses testifying for an original singularity just like your physical body is three witnesses uh, your physical body your soul and your spirit three witnesses testifying for a singularity the father son and the holy spirit testify for the word and these three witnesses of god who was god who is and god who was to come testify for the almighty one is a prophet god to come one is a priest god who was he's the water witness and the king is god who is knows all things in the now his two witnesses on either side are water and spirit. So the one that sees the future is God to come. The one that sees the past, God who was. The one that is here in the immediate now, that's God who is. He's the one who speaks. And then these two witnesses are the two that he consults from the past and from the future. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is the invisible God of Colossians 1.15. In the same my God that no one has seen at any time. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father has explained him. That word bosom there? Girdle. When you take two overlapping circles, when they touch in the middle, creates a girdle. That's the same term that's used for John the Baptist. That's what was around his waist. That girdle. So he is a depiction, he's a forerunner of the Son of Man. John the Baptist is coming before Christ. There's a Son of Man with a little s, and there's a Son of Man with a big s. Because John the Baptist represents the heavens, the heaven, and the earth. Christ represents the three witnesses of heaven in the same way. So there are more diagrams down here. Christ under the red arrow. There's a diagram here that you can go look at. I see I'm going to be short on time. I'm going to try to make it to the bottom of this post. Uh, find, the, uh, find the heavenly man Christ Jesus under the red arrow in heaven. This is the highest heaven of 1 Kings 8.27. You are looking at the true tabernacle that the Lord God pitched and not man with two veils exactly like the tabernacle of Moses in the temple. Also having the same image of man. Now you can accurately note the differences between the only true God in his infinite realm and the, uh, that's in figure 1 and 2, where the three witnesses of the Almighty are joined together as a man, having a spirit, soul, and a body. I'm wanting to click on this and show you. Three witnesses of God over here. Three witnesses of the Word in the middle, interceding for men in, the, in this realm, the flesh realm, heavens, heaven, and earth. John the Baptist here, Christ here, God here. And that's all there is. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. My Father art in heaven, that's where he gets his name. Heaven of Genesis 1-1 is the word of John 1-1. John 1, 1 through 3 is a tabernacle laid out for Genesis 1-1. All things are the earth of Genesis 1. The word is heaven of Genesis 1-1. And God is God of Genesis of John 1 1 is the same God of Genesis 1 1. So God has hidden his wisdom, like I said, right in plain sight. Now it's up to us to see the difference. Here is a an egg view of what you just saw. God's infinite realm is like an infinite shell going in every direction. The realm of the Word, which is heaven, 
the heaven of Genesis 1 1 is the highest heaven the heaven of Genesis 1 8 is just regular heaven of this universe heaven is the realm that contains this universe that's what Christ Jesus is it's the Father Son and the Holy Spirit so this is an egg format for the tabernacle this is the tabernacle of Genesis 1 1 you saw it from above God the Word and Adam God created the heaven and the earth John the Baptist Adam is the man of the earth Christ is the man of heaven but when we're talking about man it's not literal walking around men it's the image of a man spirit soul and spirit soul and body spirit blood and water those three witnesses God is over here see his three witnesses are up top the word is in the middle Father Son and Holy Spirit and the heavens heaven and earth are on the right when you turn these up you get a man of God infinite realm heaven the highest heaven right of Genesis 1 1 and then the earth this creation so even heaven of Genesis 1 1 is part of the earth in the beginning God made the heaven and the earth you see now you can see heaven divided see up here you can't see the father you can't see my father word in heaven you can't see the Holy Spirit because they're a singularity the word singular God, you don't see God who was, God who is, God who is to come. It's just God, because he's a singularity. Over here, you don't see Adam. You don't see the heavens, heaven, and earth. You just see the creation. You see the earth. They divide into three witnesses, and this is what you get. When you add the three witnesses together with the original three, you get the number 12. This is one reason that 12 is so important in Scripture. Three witnesses, give them three witnesses. That's nine. Three plus nine, 12. Okay. Those worshiping the three witnesses of the word as God are replacing the only true God with something from heaven in violation of the first commandment. You shall not make for yourself an idol or any likeness of what is in heaven. Well, think about it. My father who art in heaven, he's in heaven. You shall not make yourself an idol or any likeness of what is in heaven or on the earth or under the, or in the water or under the earth. See, God is in the infinite realm. He's there right now. The Word and God are the same thing in the infinite realm. He sent the Word to incarnate as heaven. And then Adam is the uh, Son of God from the infinite realm, killed in the Satanic Rebellion. He's the one being restored. This is all about Humpty Adam being put back together again. All die in Adam. All are made alive in Christ so that we can go back to the infinite realm that's real these two realms like the soul and the body are temporal temporary realms the infinite realm where you are gods Philippian no uh, Psalm 82 6 John 10 34 that's where you are gods and this is dispensational truth for Israel but it also applies to the members of Christ's body that's an important lesson that we're trying to learn it's the difference between eternal truth like God is spirit or a spirit witness and dispensational truth like we are saved by grace through faith that not of ourselves a gift of God not by works Ephesians 2 8 9 that's dispensational truth for the members of Christ's body members of the kingdom bride they must be saved through repentance and water baptisms how many times does Paul use the word repent how many times is it translated repent in all of his letters zero like disciple it's just not there because repentance can have something to do with leading you to obedience to the gospel but our obedience to the gospel is what saves us the problem worshiping my father who art in heaven as the only true God who sent Jesus Christ into the world uh, to save sinners so you can see there's a problem um, no one has seen God at any time but everybody saw the father every because they that's what Christ said if you've seen the son you've seen the father but you haven't seen God that's the reason that there are seeming contradictions in your Bible because we have to understand the differences between God and my Father who art in heaven. The difference is between Jesus Christ and Christ Jesus. The difference between heaven and the highest heaven. And the way that we understand that is by identifying them as witnesses of spirit, blood, and water. So that's my post. I, I will, uh, this is my video for the differences between God and my Father who art in heaven. Judge for yourself. Uh, do your research. And uh, the next video will be about the differences between Jesus Christ and Christ Jesus. So until then, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.